were both really into music. Um, they did it as careers. They both did multiple types of art-related uh, stuff like theater and, and other things like that. So every, it was just always what I was around, and it was pretty easy to get inspired, I think. The first year that I went to college was awesome because I was hanging out with people um, that I was really close to and I'd always been to high school with, and I was going to class and I liked it, but it just wasn't where I wanted to be, and it wasn't something I felt like I was... I, was, I didn't feel like I was doing the right thing. I felt like I was wasting a little bit of time, so... Um, stopping going to college was really liberating, but it was scary because I felt like I was going to get left behind a little bit, like everybody else was going to finish this step, and I'm just kind of like floating, so... I focused on my main, you know, project, which is Rabbit Eater and that type of music, but I also you know, fill in for other people occasionally. Um, there's a band, Rev Gusto, that I've filled in for a couple times. Um, and I like to practice and, you know, keep up on other instruments that I like. I think you should listen to me because it's the same familiar type of genre that a lot of people um, that I know listen to, but it's got a bit of a spin to it. It's something that I've thought out for a long time. It's very methodical and it's lyrically sort of dense, but the beats and the music and the feel and energy to it are very familiar. The hardest part about starting sort of over again on my own was really just that. I was by myself. I'd never been the front man or in the front of any group that I'd played with. And I didn't really know where to begin as far as building a fan base. Because before, I was playing in a band that was kind of pop, rock type of stuff. And everybody just kind of knew that I did that. And they were used to that concept. And when I came out and started doing hip hop and rap stuff, it was the same group of friends, really, but it was more like I had to explain kind of where I was coming from with it because it seemed so out of left field. I like that it's something different from everybody else. I mean, everybody has something, you know, that they are really passionate about. Um, and a lot of people's passions end up taking them through college or through a four-year school, you know, because that's the best way to go about achieving those goals. But the biggest accomplishment would be this this record that I just finished because before that it was all just singles here and there and, and random remixes and stuff that I'd done and put up online, but... I really decided at the beginning of the summer that I wanted to sit down and see if I could write an album. I'd rather just be determined and have like solid goals that I can work towards than sit here and be like, well, I hope this happens and I hope this happens. Because if I do that, personally, for myself, it's it makes me lazier. So I really just hope that I can keep making steps and keep finding the motivation and continue to give people a product that they enjoy.